we have glute-focused split squats, okay? So I'm gonna do these with a pair of dumbbells. Also know that all lunges and all split squats hit your quads and your glutes and your hamstrings, but if you change the position of your trunk relative to your legs or the other way around, or the arms relative to the trunk, or the other way around, the trunk relative to the arms, it changes the scope or the outcome of the exercise by a bit or a good amount. It, it depends on how well you do the thing. So for this specifically, of course you're gonna feel your quads, but because the glutes are a little bit more stretched, to begin with, we're biasing them. Okay, so if something is stretched, a tissue, a muscle, if it's pre-stretched, then it has a little bit more um, power or potential energy that becomes kinetic energy, like basic physics, or like a bow and arrow. So imagine a bow and arrow, right? If you pull back on the bow like 20%, it's not back far enough. It's not gonna go very far. You wanna pull it all the way back, okay? Then you wanna let go of the arrow. So that full pull back is your glutes or are your glutes fully stretched so that we can rebound them with full force, okay? So it's done like this. Pair of dumbbells or kettlebells. I like dumbbells with these. So position. From here, hinge forward from the hips. From here, your knee doesn't go forward. Your hips go straight down like this. My front knee isn't straightening out. I'll show you from this side. So find your position, don't rush it. Oop. Pull back on your right hip. Left leg is a little further back than you think. Go straight down. Push through your front heel. And pour your weight on your front leg. Okay, glue focused split squats.